watching Good Morning Columbia, live from Manager Bay. Well, guys, since the days of George and Wheezy Jefferson, Ralph the Doorman would end every conversation with a little less than subtle reminder that he would appreciate a little green love. And, you know, we know we tip the waiter. We know that we tip the hairdresser, perhaps even the, the taxi driver. But tip jars have begun to pop up at every walk of life. The question begs, however, like the lonely tip jar at a counter at a gas station, is all the tipping appropriate? That's true. And really, the gratuities have become a bit gratuitous. To break all the tipping down, Miss Pamela Irene, the Protocol School of Washington. Good, good morning. To see you. Good morning. Yes. So let's talk tipping. Now, look, a lot of yes. us put ourselves through school waiting tables, yep. and I get it. You get paid two bucks an hour, and you get Barely. paid for yeah. service. Right. But when I walk into a, a, to a gas station or a McDonald's, and and the fellow's going to hand me my Big Mac, I, I don't feel this overwhelming need yeah. to throw some bucks in his tip jar too. That's right. Well, you know, if they're doing something really special, sometimes we go into Moe's, for instance, and we're right. a high maintenance or Starbucks, and we sure. want all these different flavors and and soy and this and mm -hmm. that. Then sure, I think you can put something in there, right. but usually. Um, just throw some change in. It's not like a 10% sure. or 15%. You don't have to tip at all. Right. You can just take your latte mocha and, and go. <laughs> but, you know, you're seeing these more often. Sure. And I don't really care for them too much because, you know, unless I just want to get rid of some change. But right. unless they do some sort of service for me. Okay, so it's a kind of service connected. Yes. W when are some, some good times to tip? And like I said, you know, we know sure. the hairdresser, we know the waiter, mm -hmm. we know the, the taxi driver. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are some other areas maybe it would be a good place to tip that people may not know? Well, definitely your stylists and uh, spa treatments, right. if you have a spa treatment. The, the thing you have to remember, even if you have a gift card, like to a restaurant mm -hmm. or to a spa, uh, you don't tip on what's the remainder after you use the gift certificate. You uh -huh. actually tip on the entire amount, even what if it would have paid been. For. What it would have, would have been. been. So if the service right. was $100, you would tip on the 100 even though you had a gift card for 100 right. You should still leave the tip. What kind of tip, uh, you know, obviously with, with weight table or, or, you know, weight staff, it's 15 mm -hmm. and 20%. This kind of used to be 15 when I was younger. Mm -hmm. It's now about 20, which, which I get. Mm -hmm. But what about, um, you know, the bartender? Do you tip him if he gets you just a drink? Is, mm -hmm. there a, is there a number or is it a percentage? How does that one work? Well, it depends on how much good service you want. In the mid-18th uh, century, mm -hmm. you know, people would put the money out early right. first so that people would, or, you know, you, they'd say, oh, she's going to tip me. I'll give her really, really good service. Sure. Now, if you're just picking up a beer... You know, 50 cents or something. If you have some change, you could give it okay. to them. Um, but to pay a dollar a beer, especially if you're paying seven dollars a beer, that's not necessary. An extra buck, unless yeah, yeah. you're getting a group of beers. You know, like okay. a, a six pack for right. all your friends. You know, or a bucket of beer or something like that, and they're making it really nice. Sure, but. Um, but a cocktail like a Cosmo or a dirty martini with the dirt on the side, sure. a little extra give them for Take the extra them a dollar effort, per right? drink. Yeah. Okay. Yes. What about uh, what about things like your mailman? If he jumps out of the truck and brings you your mail, I mean, no, he's government or she's government. Uh, you do not tip government uh, postal workers. Absolutely. Okay. At all. What no. about FedEx? Then mm -hmm. FedEx guy does not work for uh, for the federal government. Yeah, I don't I don't recommend it okay. unless you know they're doing even like it's a snowstorm and right. they're bringing several packages to and you're sure. and they have a long way to walk short. Maybe and he has to wear those shorts. Yeah. You know, those, you, those tight shorts. He has to wear those too. Those, <laughs> right. On a day like today, that is not comfortable. <laughs> Maybe a cup of coffee or some hot cocoa. Perfect. You know, that might be good today too. Perfect. So basically anything where there's a service connected, mm -hmm. not just your yeah. total is. Because I expect to go to Publix mm -hmm. next time and see the cash you're asking for your tip too. So You can ignore it. Okay. So, so yeah. ignore it if there's really no service, if it's kind of their yeah. job to just you yeah. know, ring you up. Right, or if you want to get rid of some change, you can do sure. that too, but like I said, it's not necessary. It's, it's definitely your choice. Sure, Pamela Eyring from the Protocol School of Washington talking tips today. We're gonna put some links for you at abccolumbia.com. Mm -hmm. You've yes. got some very specific times you do tip and very specific times right. when you don't tip as well. So we'll have those for you at abccolumbia.com as well. The tipping of America. Well, Pamela, you actually did us a good service this morning. <laughs> You really took care of us. Here you go. Thank you. Stay with us. Thank we you, are Tyler. coming back live and local.